Today's vlog is a very different vlog to our normal one that we bring to you. Today we're talking to you very much from the heart um, and to squash some rumours and some gossip. Five years ago when we started our search for a new life in France, we wasn't searching for anything like this. The chateau, we wasn't searching for a big property. We were searching more for a quieter life. A simple life, yeah. <laughs> a much more simple life. And you all know the story. We'd looked at 47 properties before this place. And everybody says to us, how did you find the chateau? And we always say, we didn't find it, it found us. We were on our way back to the airport. The notification came up on my phone. We had a few hours to kill, so we popped in to be nosy. And that is how we ended up buying an abandoned chateau in France. Now, at the time, we knew that we didn't have the budget for this place. We had 80,000 euros as a renovation budget. The place had been abandoned for many years. We knew we didn't have the skills or the knowledge of any renovation type work. We'd never done anything like that before. So it was all very new. But for some reason, we had belief in ourselves. And we had the drive and we had the passion and we just fell in love with it. Yep. Absolutely. I think the history more than anything. Well, the history, neither of us were history buffs before we came. And, and I think it just steered us in that direction about how much we enjoyed the, the magnificence of something that's 700 years old. And also that you say about the passion and drive and the drive to, to, bring it back into life, bring it back to life, bring it back into the community, which is something we've always wanted to do. And to be honest with you, we are very, very close now to doing the Chateau building and to completing what we set out to do with our first phase of operation, which was to create this wonderful building and bring it back to life. So I think in four years, that's one mean feat. We have worked tirelessly and I think we are both extremely proud of what we have done. Yes. Now that we have finished the four apartments or very close to finishing the fourth apartment, as Ted said, it's the entire Chateau building that will be completed. So at the beginning of this year, we knew things were going to be tight, having no renovation budget left and only the money coming in from the business. Now, the money coming in from the business allows us to be able to maintain the property, keep it running and keep it alive. It doesn't allow for anything else. So at the beginning of the year, that's why we tried so hard to increase the YouTube reach. We did lots of call outs to our fellow YouTubers who are doing the similar sort of thing. There was only one, Terry and Ash, thank you so much for, for actually trying to help us. Uh, but we had no response or not very good response from any of the others. And um, without that, we knew we was gonna struggle to be able to have any renovation budget. So we have now come to that period of time. That we have put the property on the market. Um, this is the rumors. The rumors are going around and they are actually true that we have put the property on the market at the beginning of this month. And um, it is to, with a heavy heart that we have done this, but we know that there is hopefully somebody out there that loves this property as much as we do, that has a lot deeper pockets than we do. And that hopefully the big projects that are to come that I know for one of us, was so, so looking forward to doing the banqueting hall, the land and the lake, the old coach house for my personal feeling and the piggeries to create our own space. Those projects take an awful lot of money and they're going to take an awful lot of money. And we just don't have that wherewithal. So we need to cut ties with this place give it over to the next custodians and hopefully they will carry on what we feel we are proud to achieve have achieved um so from 
the thing is, I think we've both said that the property, the, the estate deserves to be finished. Yes. Um, we could 100%. stay here and just run a chambre d'hôte and, um, and, and just maintain what we've already done. But for one, that's not what we love to do. We've mm. really enjoyed the renovation work. Yeah, we've yeah. thoroughly enjoyed that, which is something we never knew we had in us. The, the wonderful thing for us is that running the Chambre d'Hôte has, has given us um, such a, a, a broad horizon. It's, you know, we've met people we would never, ever have met if we'd had never moved to France and run that Chambre d'Hôte. We've met so many wonderful, wonderful people. And so many recently we've had our patrons here who've been so supportive and so lovely um, and welcoming and appreciative of what we've done. So that was that's brilliant. And from from our both of our point of views, the, the people, uh, one of the things that I will take away with a huge smile on my face, it's been brilliant. Thank you so much for anybody that came to see see us, had dinner with us came to stay, whatever, music nights, whatever you did, whatever you came, thank you so much for that. And also to US subscribers, because without you, we wouldn't have got as far as we did. No. Nowhere near as no, far as we did. No, no. So we can't thank you all enough for, for being on this journey with us. Now, a few comments um, over the last week has been, why haven't we done this vlog earlier? And we'll tell you the reason for that. We wanted to make sure when we made the decision that we spoke to our patrons first and our family and friends, that the people that needed to know first knew. We didn't want them finding out in, in any other way. So we held private um, and personal Zoom chats with their patrons. And patrons... Are you all right? Patrons, patrons, again, I cannot believe that the support and the love that came through the, the video screen to us was just absolutely wonderful. You know, most of most of them were saying things like, we, we follow you, we love the buildings, we love the history, but we love your passion for it. And we like to see what you're doing, whether it's you're going out visiting old properties or you're putting skirting board on or creating wonderful things made out of fabric. It doesn't matter. We want to see you. And I just was so touched. And both of us were so touched by that support. And it doesn't, it's not just again from our patrons. It's from you, the YouTube subscribers, you know, the fact that you watch the ads and you just, you know, and you comment and, and all those great things that you do from us. I think the stupid thing is, is that we were so worried about telling their patrons yeah. um, and telling their family and friends. And because we didn't want anyone to feel that we had let them down. That's, yeah. And it's now thinking a month down the line that we've had time to sort of get used to this and, and stop the tit. Well, sometimes almost, almost, almost stop the tears. Um, we kind of sat here today and said, why, why is it that we feel that we should apologise for this, one thing we have done is save this building yeah. from neglect and from deterioration. And what we're doing going forward by allowing it to go to somebody else that hopefully will have deeper pockets and be able to continue with the renovations, that way we're actually allowing the building to be finished and completed in its entirety, It'd which is what it deserves. So we shouldn't be apologising for that and we won't going yeah. forward. Now, going forward, as our patrons know, our patrons are already coming on the journey with us um, at the moment. Every time we go to view a property or view a different area where we might um, have our next adventure. Because that's apparently what we're going to do, you see. We, we're not just selling up this. We are absolutely 100% staying in France. Oh, yes. Because we do love it here. We have made so many wonderful friends. And the lovely thing for me is we've made friends, our friends. And all the people, you know, we love the, the countryside. We love this region. So we're going to stay in France, but we are going to look for something hopefully unique. 
So we're now searching. Our patrons are coming along that journey with us um, and we'll still be getting all the behind the scenes. As for you guys, we are still continuing the renovations. As you know, we still have a few more weeks of renovations in the Templar Suite. We still have the laundry room to finish off. Um, we don't know how long it's going to take for us to sell Chateau de Montmagny. It's a unique property and um, it will take somebody very special to come along and buy it. So... We might be waiting a very long time. During that period, we will continue the renovations that we have the money for, the small budgets that we have. If it's anything like um, mortaring is quite good because la um, sand and lime is quite cheap, so we could continue out, and there's a lot of that to do. We will also be going out and looking at um, some other abandoned properties that you all seem to like very much, um, doing some trips to some more Brocons and some markets, French markets, and seeing what else is in the area. And also we'll be doing things that we hopefully will continue to do after this chapter is finished. Uh, which is making stuff because we do love to make stuff and whether that is me in the workshop or Lisa at the sewing machine or Lisa painting wonderful pictures on bathroom walls <laughs> it doesn't know we don't know what road it will take us but what you've got to understand is that this is not the end of the book this is just the end of a chapter so we ask you to turn the page with us and go on to the next chapter in our lives and uh, continue on the journey with us. And like we said before, we can't thank you enough for coming this far with us and for being there to support us. We love you all. We love your comments. Please, and... please, please, if you're into this, we'd love to have you along, as like Lisa said. But just check to see if you are still subscribed. Hit the notification bell thumbs up, all that good stuff that you do, but please check that you are subscribed. We've had quite a few people yeah. recently that have been commenting, telling us that they have been taken off the subscription. Or they've just and, not received notification yeah. and then checked and they have been unsubscribed. Now, we don't know how this happens. We'd love to know how this happens. However, just check that for us. But thanks ever so much for watching and thanks ever so much for all your wonderful continued support. And we really, really hate, hope to see you on the other side. Now, I know you're all going to have loads of questions because everybody always does. So what we're going to do is in a few days, we will actually put up the video of our personal Zoom chats with their patrons. And um, you can see what it was like for us having to tell people for the first time. And you can see all the questions that they had to ask and all the answers that we gave. And if so. there are any other questions, please let us know in the comments uh, and we will try our best to answer every one of them. Take care, everybody. And um, hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Love to all. Bon courage. Bye-bye.